Hey guys, my name is Barry. This channel is Rusty Barrel Designs. I'm here with my buddy Kyle Hall. Running the camera. He's got a YouTube channel called Kyle Hall Woodworkers. Check him out. He's uh, pushing me to get this sucker rolling. Um, I opened up my company, Rusty Barrel Designs, in 2017. I've been doing, you know, picking, grabbing old stuff, fixing it up, selling it, or adding it to my collection. And Kyle and I were picking in Johnstown, New York, last night, and we found this old Singer sewing machine, and I grabbed it for 25 bucks. So we it was a steal. The, uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was a little work getting it out. It was up in a guy's attic, but it was. Uh, it's it's a cool find. So. I looked up the serial number on it. You can find the serial number right here on the base plate. And the serial number brings it out to uh, 1897. And I'll put a link to the website that I found that on. So we're pretty sure this was made in 1897. Yeah. That's 1800s. Yeah, 1800s. And Elizabeth, ridiculous. I think it's called Elizabeth Fort, New Jersey, is uh, what the research showed. And uh, I'll put a link to the website that we found it in. And I plugged it in this morning to see if it works. It does work. Check out this rotten core, though. So when you're doing this stuff, you know, operate at your own risk. I don't really have a lot of fear, so this thing is uh it's been it's roached for sure. <laughs> yeah, so it is. got some nice electrical tape on here. But um I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if this thing works. <laughs> and plug it in, I'm gonna stand back so if you decide to get shocked, I don't want no part of that. <laughs> so far so good. So the motor on this is a quarter horse singer motor, so I think it's been I think the base and everything's been added to it. Uh, can we um, see it? Yeah, yeah we can kind of see it. Look at this thing. Yeah. Can't really read the, I don't know, they might be able to see it on camera, but. It's kind of, we haven't cleaned anything up. Oh, it actually cleans up pretty nice. It does wipe off these so. though. To say 1725 RPM. What is it? I've got a serial number here, so we'll do a little research and figure out how old that sucker is too. Yeah, cause what do you think? We're gonna, gonna do a series on this, cleaning it up and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do a little brief series on it and we'll see how it goes, so. So with this machine, it does come with a drawer. The drawer's in the truck still, but uh, we're gonna hear this sucker fire up. Number turns on. I don't know what this doohickey does. I'm not a sewing machine guy. I just like old things, so move that out of the way. Hmm. And let's see the action shot. She's working. The belt on this thing is cool. It's got a belt here that runs down to the motor. That's what's kicking it on. Yeah, and it's got a link that holds yeah. it together, which is really cool. Metal link. We we'll probably shut it off. Move this thing around. I lose a finger. You're almost there. I see it. It's coming up around. Yeah. So this belt's not like the belts we see now. No, it's just a strap of leather that's put together with a hog ring, it looks like. If you guys can see that in there. It's pretty cool. It is pretty neat. So, we're going to go through. We're going to clean this thing up real nice. I'm not going to paint it. We like the patina. I'm going to leave the uh, crazy markings that are on here. I'm not going to try and hand paint these or anything, at least right now. Leave it looking like it is for the most part. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pull any of the, pit, the badges. I know people like to pull badges, clean them all up, paint these things. The hand paint the designs back in. I'm not going to do all that. I want to keep it looking nice but vintage, right? Yeah, I want it to work. I want it to keep its age look. So the top on this thing, I'll have to figure out something with that. We're delaminating here. Well, good news is you know a guy that does woodworking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, you could put a real nice top on that, man. Yeah, we could. You could do something different, change it out. Maybe put it up on one of the Adirondack stores for sale. Maybe yeah. Somebody put it in an old camp, but... Yeah, there's some there's definitely some work that's gonna be done to it, but we're gonna we're gonna mess with it and keep you guys updated. So Alright man. This is cool. If you guys haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, help Barry grow this channel, all right? We're gonna keep an eye out for some future videos working on this piece, some future picking, and uh, some future projects. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.